Hello everyone, this is Michael Stoltz with MicroStoltz.com, changing the world one pixel at a time. Today, real quick, I want to talk to you about a awesome plugin that is a must if you are developing WordPress websites, working with clients, but also just for the flexibility that it gives you. Now, granted, there are some free ones out there that's going to work just fine for you, but the number one reason why I purchased SeedProd, which is the plugin we're going to talk about today, is for the ability to give a client URL access to a site that you're developing on a live domain and or uh, you have it staged somewhere else. Um, that way you don't have to show the whole world what you're working on, but yet at the same time you can get your client involved and they can give you feedback and you, you can move forward. So quickly today I'll kind of show you the back end real quick and that way you have uh, a little bit of idea what's behind the scenes. So let's jump on in. So here you see the uh, CProj we uh, website. The uh, founder of this uh, plugin is John Turner. I'm very thankful for him. I appreciate him giving me a few moments of his time, which I've included in my blog post, a few questions that I asked him. He was very generous with his time, but ultimately um, what really prompted me to want to do a quick video and a blog post is just the customer service I received from John his quick response, his uh, personable replies. It really made me feel um, special, not to sound goofy, but uh, those things I pay a lot of attention to when I'm working with people. So let's dive on in here. So here it is, I have a CProd up on a small website of ours uh, that I put up. Um, if you purchase the pro version, you're gonna have a license key, so you simply just copy paste that, hit save all changes, you're good to go. So by default, when you install the plugin, under your plugins category over here. Um, it is going, once you've activated it, it's going to come over here under settings, coming soon pro in that section. Now to save some time, I kind of threw together a quick um, coming soon page uh, for us. So on this first screen under settings, this is where you're going to enable this, uh, your status such as disable, enable coming soon mode, Enable maintenance mode. Uh, generally, I, I usually always select this one right here, but um, that'll give you an idea. The next is your logo. Um, so whatever logo you're working with, you wanna throw it in there. Your headline, this is your big bold headline that you wanna lead with. And this is kind of, uh, this is very similar to your blog post or page editor, whatever you wanna put in here and save all changes. Uh, the next tab is the design where you can get a little bit more in depth, such as background color, Add a background image, do you want to stretch, uh, any effects, do you want to do a slideshow? If you do a slideshow, uh, you can set some, some parameters and then list line by line the URL of each of the images that you want it to slide. The example I'm going to show you, I've enabled the background video, I hit, hit yes, I chose a, a Vimeo video to use, but you use uh, uh, YouTube or MP4 URL in there as well, uh, and a few other options. Down here, the text, you can customize the whole look and feel. The text color, the link and button, the headline color, uh, the fonts, you name it, you pretty much have it. John did an awesome job on this. And uh, of course, he's listening for your guys' feedback. So if you have some suggestions, please reach out to him directly and, and uh, send that over to him. This section here is the container. That's kind of the box that goes right there in the middle uh, that you can adjust. you see that here in a little bit. Also, what's really neat is the custom CSS option. So if you want to get real fancy and add some custom things, you can plop that right in there. And here's the code of the site as well. The advanced tab, once it loads up here, this is why I was most excited because at the time, a few years ago, I was looking for an easy way to share a website with one of the clients I was working with. And I came across John's product here, Cprod, and I know it sounds crazy, but again, it was the number one feature that really got me to uh, purchase the pro version. Simply all you do in the client URL here, you can name it blob, blah, blah, whatever you want, obviously without spaces, uh, spaces that is. Um, and then that's the URL you give to them. So why the rest of the world sees a uh, coming soon page, uh, 
John, for example, if I was working on his site, he could go to that direct URL and it will bypass the coming soon page while you have it. Another good feature here is the uh, access by IP. So if you can get their IP address, you could do it that way. Uh, you can also select instead of seeing the coming soon page, maybe you've built a uh, landing page that you want them to see instead. You can do that. Uh, down here below, and this is where you want to add maybe like Google Analytics code, or maybe if you have some other uh, additional tracking code, maybe um, um, you know, so you're using a different uh, system per se other than Google Analytics, you could drop that in there. And then another great feature is let's say you're working on a bunch of websites and uh, let's say you have a, a, a similar approach to every one of your uh, coming soon pages. You literally just copy that bad boy right here, save it somewhere. And then when you log into your new site, you've installed seed prod, you can just simply paste, hit import, voila, it's all good to go. So here, let me show you quick example what I have up here for you. So like I said, this was something real quick I put together. Uh, you can collect your email opt-ins. You can ask for additional information like name and email. Um, you can sync that in with your ESP that you may be using, a MailChimp, Infusionsoft, Aweber. They have a ton of them in there. So that's pretty much it. I encourage you to go and click on the Go Review CProd link in my blog post or down below. And please give this a, a chance. I think you'll really love it. And it will be an awesome plugin to add to your repertoire for your site development. Thanks for your time.